all right welcome if this is a view page if for instance we might have other models in our application when it grows so when we have posts if this is a post view page definitely the viewing user that created it and the admin two types of people can edit this post the viewing user the, the user that created it and the admin can edit it and two of them can edit depend can delete depending on how you want your application to function now which means anytime there's a view these two uh, these two should be abused uh, these two um, menus should be available all right so one these two menus to only appear under here when there is a view first of all we'll copy what we have here we'll go to um, uh, view it should be users view so we'll go to templates we'll go to view users we'll go to view and when view opens we're going to look for the edit and the delete all right i just want to show you um, why this edit this delete um, code is quite long what it basically does is it does a pop-up asking the user are you sure you want to delete using a javascript so if i click delete user it does this so click php does this automatically and then um, it's really cool so we're going to copy these two links edit and delete we don't need this order we don't need list users and view users mm, but we can add it to we have we already have new users so we're going to do list users action um we've copied it and then that's it we don't need this guy any longer so we delete so we'll go to our side menu logged in and uh, we're going to add it under this so we're going to say this guy so instead of saying users we we'll first of all adjust it to say dot view name because we're going to define the view name of it so we'll say dot view name and we say dot view name so and this one too dot view name so once we have this like this we can go back and refresh and see what is happening remember we didn't add action we didn't add the controller here so that it takes the default controller of the page that is loaded so if we refresh we'll see that this is gone and then there are more items here now there are more items here what i want i want this list user to be on top of this place so i'll say list user where is it list user i want it to be right under new okay so we're going to display on this tool only if it's a view page so we, we need a way to know whether the, the current page the user is viewing is a view page so we're going to say if in cake php there's a way you can find out the controller name and the view name so if we want to find the controller name we're going to say this name it prints the controller name for us so let us uh, quickly do that let's create a new item here just to see what we're doing just do php echo this name and um, once it's done let me just copy out this first and um, we're going to see that of um let me echo another thing echo br doesn't make sense i goofed so let, let me echo the other one which is this view so this one tells us the controller name and this one tells us the view name all right so let us refresh and watch out here as the new menu appears at the bottom of this place so it tells us that the controller name is users and um and the view name is view we are in view i manually changed this it should be users so and that's all we need to know we just need to know whether this is a view page so we're going to say now we know how to find it we're just going to copy it and say this right here we'll say php if this view is equal to view if the, the view if the current view is view then display this otherwise don't so we're just going to end the if statement and we're going to refresh as you can see it shows but if we click on list user and keep your eye here and this changes to index it 
both 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 um, items will disappear from the list here. So th this is how to do it in Cake PHP. In the next tutorial, we'll go a little in depth to see how to do other things.